So it is currently 4.30 a.m. in the morning right now and over the last couple of hours I've been doing my war attacks and I've basically been contemplating whether I should make this video and I've decided to make this video guys because I feel it's something that I want and also need to do especially because I do have a platform to you know voice my opinion and I honestly want to know what you guys think as well. So what you're about to see in this episode it's going to be very different this is pretty much my opinion of what the truth is about the balance changes that Supercell have implemented into COC over the last couple of months and even over the last few years. So this is really gonna be the truth about the balance changes inside of the game. Now for the first time ever, I'm gonna ask every single one of you to not comment down below unless you have watched the entire video. I'm about to show you four different attacks and every single one of these attacks is gonna have a different point and then at the end of the episode, I'm going to conclude on the truth about the balance changes in this game guys so whether you're a youtuber whether you're in my clan whether you're just a random guy passing please wait till the end of the episode then give your opinion down below so as i said four different attacks each one is going to have a different point and i'm going to tell you basically and break down for you why this game and the balance changes are really so so bad right now in fact they may be worse than ever well maybe not worse than ever i would say two three months ago they were worse than ever maybe getting a little bit better but they're still so damn bad so a very quick disclaimer i never claim to be good at this game if you've been subscribed to this channel for at least four or five days you will know this channel is all about entertainment this is where we have fun inside of the game we never really talk about strategy too much but i really want to talk about this guys because i feel like i actually need to so as i said this is the first attack now what you're seeing on screen right now is a new air attack using the new level six dragon and a couple of other air troops and what we're basically about to do we are going to three star this town hall 11 base using this new air attack guys so i say new air attack because it does have the new updated level 6 dragon so please bear in mind we are actually using an attacking clan castle inside of this attack guys right now we do have seven max balloons inside of our cc now the reason why i'm saying that is because we are going to go in for a few different attacks throughout this episode and the ground attacks aren't actually going to have an attacking clan castle where well, the war attacks will but the rest of them won't and that is crucial because for those of you that know me or are even inside of my clan you will know I never use air attacks, I always use ground attacks, I never request a clan castle and the simple reason is I can 3 star many Town Hall 11 bases without using clan castles when I use ground attacks and I'm sure loads of you guys can too. However when I use air attacks if I do not bring an attacking clan castle I will be very lucky to get a 2 star. To be honest with you I completely suck at using air. For some reason I got extremely lucky right now inside of this attack and somehow managed to pull off a triple star on this uh... I wouldn't say great Town Hall 11, I would say it's, you know, pretty average Town Hall 11. It's got some rush walls, the rush defenses, and a few other features. Now, before we really start to delve into this episode, I would just like to say, guys, a couple of days ago, Supercell streamed the Ground Vs Air live stream on YouTube, and I'm sure millions of you actually saw it. And what we basically gathered from that is that the air attacks are far, far weaker than the ground attacks. Now these air attacks actually incorporated the new level troops. So they were the new level baby dragons, the new level dragons, and obviously the new defense, the bomb tower, and even the new nerf troops, which were the bowlers, the bowlers were nerfed. So although all of these, uh, these new features came to air and loads of ground features came in and were actually nerfed, it still seems that the air attacks are completely useless. So just before we move on, I want to involve you guys in this episode. This is a community video. This is about everyone's opinion who plays the game on a daily basis. So down below this video, there is a like and a dislike button. And here is what I want you to do. If you play this game at least, you know, four, five, six days a week and you use zero air attacks, then hit the like button. If you play this game four, five, six days a week and you use at least one air attack, then hit the dislike button. Let's see what the ratio looks like. So for those of you that haven't noticed, we are actually inside of our second attack, guys, and this is a war attack. Now, I've basically done this about, I would say, two hours ago, and we're actually going to be using a, a quite substantial amount of bowlers, a couple of healers, and a few wizards, and we are going to do 75% damage on the number one player on the enemy team. Now, the reason why I'm showing you this, it's very simple. 
Bowlers were nerfed in the last update that we received five days ago. Bowlers had a decrease in hit points. They also have to go across the, uh, the bomb tower now, so there is a new defense. What I'm basically showing you is you still can spam mass bowlers inside of a pretty much completely maxed out Town Hall 11 base, apart from maybe a few of the new defenses, yet you can still do some serious damage just by closing your eyes and hitting that spam button. And that is basically telling you that this game is still quite broken, guys. I mean, Supercell have been trying to fix it for so long. And as I said, I suck at this game. I really do suck. I mean, I'm a gemmer. I am a gemmer. I completely suck at this game, guys. But I'm still able to do this sort of damage to a Town Hall 11 base with no real strategy whatsoever. I mean, those new bomb towers, yes, they're cool. Yes, they're great. They drop a bomb. But the hit points on them is pretty damn pathetic. I mean, they have like one of the lowest hit points out of any defenses. They're supposed to counteract the miners, the bowlers, and all those other troops. But really, they don't do much. I mean, the bomb explodes so quick. The bowlers aren't even able to get into the radius of the damage. So what's the point of having, you know, a new defense which is supposed to counteract mass troops when it doesn't even affect them? The only real troop that those bomb towers are going to do damage to is hog riders. And I mean, Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s don't even use hog riders anymore because the, the game's just so unbalanced and hog riders get completely fried by inferno towers. What is the point of the, the new bomb tower is actually quite unproductive, guys. I mean, it really, it looks good. It looks aesthetic, but it really isn't the greatest. So I'm about to show you a third attack. And this time we're going back to air. And this is where I really kind of got upset earlier, guys. I spent, and I'm not lying here, I spent over an hour looking at this base, figuring out how to attack it. Now, as I said, I know I'm not great at this game, guys, but I honestly try my best. I never, ever go into a war or attack without trying my best. I always make sure, as long as I have a couple of minutes spare, to, you know, scout the base and see what's, uh, what kind of attack strategy I can use. And I promise you, hand on my heart, I spent over an hour looking at this base, thinking of an attack strategy that I could use. And I came up with this, guys. Dragons, balloons, one lava hound, two heroes in on the left-hand side, to try and create a funnel. So the hero's done their job. The hero's actually done a great job. I couldn't have asked for any more. So we're gonna send in five balloons, a lava hound, and a haste spell to start with, then a rage spell to try and take out these defenses on the right hand side and create a funnel. But this is the thing about air attacks, guys. One slip, one single slip, and the entire raid is over. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot really like, you know, bring yourself back from the dead. Once you've made a slip, it's so hard to correct it. But when you use mass attacks, mass ground attacks, you don't even slip because there is no slope. I mean, it's just one big slope. All the bowlers are on it, all the miners are on it, and there really is no such thing as a slip. So my slip here, I didn't kill the defending clan castle. That dragon on the right hand side there, which is coming for my pack, is about to distract every single dragon inside of this uh, this attack that I've used. Not only that, it's actually killed about two or three of my dragons. Now, the next thing which happens here, these dragons get distracted, so they go over to the right hand side. But the thing about air attacks is, there are so many distractions. I mean, you've got air sweepers, you've got air defenses, you've got inferno towers, eagle artilleries, air bombs, air mines, you've got the archer queen. What are we supposed to do? These air attacks are so heavily unbalanced. I have a single rage spell left, two dragons, and a grand warden. There's a single target inferno tower on the town hall there. And you know what, guys? There is there's just no hope. I mean, I was praying somehow that we could do this, but we just couldn't do it. And I'm not complaining. I'm honestly not complaining. I will take that 42%. I will happily take that, guys. It's just so sad when you see so many troops inside of the game which are so unbalanced compared to others, and it just makes all of these troops, look at all of those troops, it just makes all of them kind of pointless. So I'm gonna show you one more attack, and then in a couple of moments time, I am gonna say what I believe is the, uh, the, the possibility of fixing this problem that we have, and this is just to do with air troops, guys. This is really only talking about air troops, but of course there are, uh, you know, there's a couple of ground troops as well, which loads of people don't use. So we are about to do a mass witch, mass bowler attack. There is no attacking clan castle and we are about to three star one of these town hall 11 bases let's attack this one right here guys so you can see it's a pretty rushed once again town hall 11 base but bear in mind we are using a ground troop the bowler which was just nerfed in hit points and we are also using 
statistically speaking by the community the worst troop inside of the game pretty much and that is the witch now the reason why people say that's the worst troop maybe not anymore since the update was released because she actually received triple hit points i mean triple hit points i've never heard of that in my life that is definitely pretty damn unique guys but check it out we're about to spam in the bowlers and pretty much spam in the witches and we're gonna three star this base no problem whatsoever because of course this is a ground attack and you don't even need any skill whatsoever so we're using witches we're gonna pop the king's ability then we're just gonna pretty much you know sit back relax and see what happens inside of this town hall 11 base now as i said it is of course a rushed base but i still do not believe that you should just be able to drop troops in like this and they should, you know, walk all over a base like this. I mean, it is still pretty damn insane what these witches can do. I mean, I'm not going to lie. These witches are definitely fun. I'm going to say fun. These witches are very, very fun. For those of you who haven't tried them out since they were buffed uh, five or six days ago, I would definitely suggest giving the witches a try because you may actually see a very pleasant surprise. So let's kind of conclude on what I believe the, uh, the solution is or what I believe, as I said, the solution is. For the, uh, for the changes, for the air and the ground, you know, balance out a little bit. So the way I see it is, ground attacks are, I would say, 70% and air attacks are 30% in terms of damage, how much they cost, troop training time, and all the other, you know, the factors that make an attack strategy a great attack. So my solution, none of you need to agree with me. For the dragons, the baby dragons, I would say you actually need to decrease the, uh, the spaces they take inside of an army camp. So there's no point giving them extra hit points because it's still only going to be one dragon and one dragon is slow. However, if you bring maybe 15 dragons instead of 12 dragons, those three extra dragons could actually give you a potential boost and possibly balance out air to ground. Now, as I said, this is just baby dragons and dragons. I wouldn't really say there's a problem with balloons, lava hounds or minions, guys. They're pretty damn awesome. It's just dragons and it's just baby dragons. I would say possibly decrease, and this is a big one, guys, dragons from 20 spaces down to 15 and baby dragons from 10 to 8. So let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video, guys. And of course, make sure you drop a sub to the channel to stay up to date with all the other content. I will see you shortly. Peace out.